Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz. I am going to be here in a replay of me in the Ferdinand slash Elephant on Castilla. Uh, and this was a pretty good game, I do have to say. I was I got myself into a decent position in this game. It is, of course, a tier 9 game, um, as, it, as you do. Um, we've got a... What VK four five zero two B and a scent? They have a scent and a conqueror. But I am going to go to the traditional heavy tank spot over here on Castilla, which is away from the actual fort itself. Now our T um, our T thirty four Independence turns around for whatever reason. He's a heavy tank. He should really be going with me over here. Um, but instead, I am going to do the main heavy tank lining uh, on that ridge line just up there with the other German tier 8 tank destroyer on our team, the Young Panther 2, where the elephant is based off of the chassis of the Tiger P, the Panther 2 is the Young Panther 2 is obviously based off of the Panther 2. So yeah, me and him, we're gonna do the work up here. He spots the KV Fortress and the IS3, puts a shot into the KV Fortress, takes one in return, and then I derp a shot right into his front. Now the Panther 2 does take a shot there, 191 I'm not too sure what from, probably that KD Fortress if I'm honest, but um, yeah, he puts a shot into him, I put another shot into him, bounce his return shot, which is very, very nice, and I am going to finish him off because he's a low health tank and I don't want him getting into cover, so bang, there you go, right through his turret. Very nice. The Young Panther 2 has, of course, started backing it up. He has lost half of his health there. Um, now, there is, of course, their Young Panther 2, there he is, just going to bang very nice thank you very much right through his upper glacis i was actually aiming for his lower try and get his engine maybe start a fire or rather transmission but then uh, we spot a t54 lightweight so yeah don't mind if i do thanks very much more damage for me <laughs> um and of course he's getting shot now from someone else down there probably the vk gonna just do a blind shot into that uh, Yarg Panther. We do manage to actually hit that blind shot, which is very nice. There is, of course, that Conqueror over there. The Yarg Panther does get finished off by someone. There's the Conk. There's the T-54 Lightweight. Gonna finish off him. He's on low health. Now, unfortunately, our Yarg Panther 2 does die to the Scorpion G. However, I am going to try and avenge him by... Look at that. If you ever have an IS-3 doing that, and you're in a position like this, Go for that engine deck. You can see that's what I'm trying to do. And watch this. Unfortunately, that one misses. Don't watch that. Watch the next shot. Because you can hit the engine deck of that IS-3 as he is going to find out. Um, here we go. Bang. Engine deck. Fire. I mean, look at that. He He's at a, he's at a bit of an angle, which is how I was able to get the shot into, uh, into his engine deck. And watch this unfortunate HE shell. If it had, if it had hit anywhere else I would have got the kill for that but instead the Scorpion G gets finished off by the T-34 Independence and the Scent finishes off the IS-3 still 3600 damage first class mastery 23,000 credit income with two vehicles destroyed I of course voted up our Jagdpanther 2 because we were having a bit of a field day up there it was very nice their highest was the Scent I mean everyone else three of their team did absolutely nothing so yeah you can see how well that went for their team the IS-3 got one shot in the Arc Panther 2 got one shot in the Scorpion G got one or two shots in not too sure he fired five shots four hits two pens so he got two penetrating hits um, one of which was obviously a low health kill on the Arc Panther 2 on our team um, but anyway so yeah that was just a, a very nice game in the Ferdinand um, yeah, just a really fun field day in the elephant on Castillo. So I thank you for watching and goodbye.